Well, it's finally that time of year. Got to start getting stuff ready for planting. I'm going to get this tractor out. Hopefully it starts. Hasn't been started in, I don't know, probably since about Christmas. And now it's April, so four months at least. Well, maybe it started in February. I don't really remember. It's been a few months since it started last. I'll get this door open. Squeeze back behind that planter bar there. Should probably check fluids on this thing. That one, can't really see it, but that's right at full, so that's good. Engine oil's on the side here. This does have to be changed in the next couple days before we start doing tillage and planting and all that. So I'm not the most worried. That's right. It's a touch low, but it's getting an oil change in it. I don't know, probably this weekend. If I can get at it, at least. Seems like work's taking up a lot of time. Don't know why that's taking so long to tighten up, but whatever. So I'll hop on up here. Hope the batteries aren't dead. Well, there's some sort of power, so it's something. Throw it a little bit of touch. I fired up with no problem, so I'll let this run for a couple minutes, warm up a little bit. And I'll go hook up the cultivator probably first. Got to get another little tractor started to move some wagons. So. Hopefully that'll fire up soon. So we'll see you in a little bit. Well, I'm, got this warmed up. I got the little tractor fired up. That's a different video. Don't want my videos to be too crazy long. I have had a couple long ones, but I'm gonna be a little bit shorter. So. Saying that, this one will probably be a lot longer than I expect to anyway, so I'm going to back up to that cultivator way back in the weeds there, kind of hiding. Hook that up and bring it up. Check the tire pressure, grease everything, get that thing ready to village. Got backed up a little ways. I'm going to hook hydraulics up. Hopefully be able to lift this cultivator up so I don't need a jack or grab a chain. Forgot to throw a chain in. My dog lines are long enough. I do have all of my hydraulic hoses marked with zip ties. So there's a green zip tie, green zip tie out there. So everything's good. I'm gonna wipe these wipe these ends off, get them a little cleaner. Zip ties are for what remotes and everything I want. Makes it a lot easier. Got all the hoses hooked in. Uh, I got a stick just shoved in that. Keep the tongue up. I'll do my best to back in here now. Hook up and drag this thing out of here.
doing this alone. I think I got, yep, I got it mostly in. I started at least. Hopefully everything will shift over enough to where I can get the pin hooked in. So we'll see if I can get that now. Took a little bit of shaking back and forth, but that's just about perfect right there. So that's nice. I don't know if this jack is up high enough yet. Well, looks like it's been enough to go up. Bent a little bit, so it's kind of a trick. I'll need two hands to get this. Okay, I got the jack up now. Pins in. I'll just raise this up, wing it up, and pull it up to the shop. Kind of a mess in this tractor, but that's fine. I'll have to check sleeps on here. So far, it looks like everything's fine on this one. I think our other cultivator needs a couple on, but we'll look at that in a bit. have to get that seed wagon hooked up and I think we got to cut the ends off of it and put new hydraulic ends on. They have a John Deere style, not the Pioneer style like we have. So, I'll get this up here. I'll have to unwing it again. Grease everything, check all the tires, all that fun stuff. Well, I got the cultivator pulled up here. Uh, check all the tires and we've only I think there's only grease zerks on the walking tandem in the middle there don't know if, I don't think there's really well in the in that wing that circle tube there there's a couple grease zerks in there but that's about all there is to grease there's only like four I think so yeah I'm gonna pump up all these tires this one's super flat so I'll get these tires pumped up, grease the couple zerks that are on here, and then I'm going to call it a day, I think. Done a bunch of different things today. We got our seed wagon fixed, so that's sweet. Blade of the driveway. I don't know. Did a whole bunch of stuff today, so. Yeah. I'm going to do this and call it a day. So, hope you enjoyed this little video. We'll see you on the next one.